What's up guys, this is Damian with Hash Online again, and today we're going to take a look at the Evervolve ROM for the uh, HP Touchpad, aka the Tenderloin. And I, I wish I could provide links in order to uh, let you know where to go to download this, but honestly I couldn't find it. I got this off of Prelude Drew at Twitter, and if you want to try it out, I would suggest uh, hitting him up on Twitter and I'll post his username his username uh, in the below so that you can request it because it's really pretty good it's uh, pretty stable it's pretty fast it's pretty much everything that you could want in Android on the touchpad minus the camera and the mic of course which one day will have working one day but until then you're just gonna have to keep on booting into web OS and using it that way but you know to, to to get a little overview of this, this is running in, uh, it's running Nova uh, launcher right now, and that I think that comes default. Um, but it is Android 4.0.4, .4, and it is very smooth. It is very fast, and it is stable Wi-Fi. Now, if you own a touchpad. You kind of feel my pain if you own the touchpad and you're running Android on it because that is the biggest thing with the touchpad. And you know, we also had problems like that on the Nook Color when we first had ROMs for Andro of uh, Android running on it. The, the Wi-Fi is just, you know, how you put it, finicky, you know, but this, this has by far the most stable Wi-Fi. I'm not sure if that's because of the nightlies, uh, which I think that this is based off of, but for whatever reason, this has excellent stability when it comes to Wi-Fi. Uh, and like you said, Android 4.0.4, .4, it is fully um, overclockable. Uh, as you can see, we'll go to set CPU, and we've got this thing running at 1782. And this is just for performance. I usually don't run this on every day because, you know, 1782 is great, but not necessarily great for battery life. The touchpad, it, for me at least, it gets pretty good battery life, but you just get so much more if you don't run 782 all the time. And really, there's no need to run that all the time, just, you know, searching through apps or the web or, you know, there, there's that's not really a need to have that all the time. Now, with this ROM... This is what I'm mostly impressed by because even with the, the nightlies and you know some of the other um, variations of signage in my on the touchpad, every once in a while I might get a boot loop or a force close something. But on Evervolve, I have no boot loops, no force closes, no problems. You know, as always, uh, Ever Evervolve ROM. You know, I won't say that back in the day because back in the day I know they had a lot of problems. But you know, those are the early days of. And when everyone was trying to get signage and mod or, you know, f ice cream sandwich on the touchpad. But, you know, this, I can't see any bugs in it. You know, we we're kind of supposed to be testing that out. But, I mean, it, it, everything is just A1 butter, you know, with me as far as uh, mine is concerned. Now, I want to take a uh, show you a few looks at Quadrant and... And, and Tutu and speed test so you can just see like how smooth this is um, even on quadrant you know I'm getting pretty good pretty good scores you know they're not the best but this is the touchpad this is something that came out what was it summer of last year uh, it's a dual core uh, processor but it's last generation's dual core it's not like the the new s4 uh, Qualcomm chips and you know all the new stuff. It's it's old school uh, dual core and you know it's, you're not going to get the best device if you're trying to pick one of these up used or you happen to come up on a deal on eBay. I would pick it up. You know it's a very good budget tablet. It's probably the best budget tablet that you can get. You know it's bigger screen than a Kindle Fire, uh, bigger screen than the Nook Touch. The um, it, it, it's and, and for I think these are going from anywhere a hundred and something to low, low, low twos, and that's only if you just can't find one at all. Uh, it's probably the best tablet you can get. And as you can see, though, they're less than one X now. Um, at thirty-five, twenty-three, those are more than decent scores 
for a $99 tablet. More than decent scores. This is a 16 gig version, so you know that's pretty good. And as you can see on chest the Wi-Fi out. Because that was the main, maybe the only problem people were having with the touchpad is just Wi-Fi. I mean, just let's face it, with, without Wi-Fi, this thing is worthless. It, it just without Wi-Fi is, is completely, utterly not worth it. Um, wow, we don't have speed test. Let's go to the Play Store and download speed test so that we can test out. And this is thumb keyboard that I'm using, just in case you wanted to know. I find it the best keyboard for tablets. I've been using it for a while now. And you can kind of see how fast this is. It's download just like that. Let's open speed test up. Touch sensitivity is great. Everything is just really good. And I have very, 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 very good Wi-Fi, so it should be good. Let's put it in BPS and go back and begin test. Can't beat that. Can you? I don't know if that's, can you see that? Yeah, you just can't really beat that. For a device that has so many Wi-Fi problems, you just really literally cannot beat that. Let's try it again. Oh yeah, pure awesome sauce. So, so once again, this is the Evervolve ROM for the touchpad. Links to Prelude Drew's Twitter account. You can request it. Try it out. I mean, not even try it out. Just just download it and throw it on your touchpad. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't have a problem with it. I mean. I'm not endorsing Evolve or anything, but I mean, just my personal opinion to you is get this thing. So once again, I'm Damien, D-Man8126, if you know my, my Hotch Online, uh, know me on Hotch Online, I'm sorry. But, you know, subscribe to the videos if you, if you enjoy them. Leave some comments if you want to ask me any questions. I try to respond to pretty much every comment I get. Um, but yeah, this is Damien with Hosh Online. See you next vid. Peace.